Hello, I'm Crystal. It's the 29th of May 2018. I'm at home. We've had slight thunder and it's raining today. Uh, Saturday I went to my parents. Sunday I stayed at home going out to the shops once to get a newspaper. Monday, yesterday, bank holiday Monday, uh, the 28th of May, I went to my mum and dad's again, uh, which was a welcome for relief because I don't like where I'm living. I can't stand it. It's make it, it makes me feel ill. I just can't stand living here anymore. So I quite welcome any chance to get out of here. Um, um, and I wash, I wash my dad's car. Um, basically, I went up and washed my dad's black Alfa Romeo, um, polished it, washed it, a few of the neighbours came out, um, a little short man with a beard with a cowboy hat on and a jacket with his friend Sarah. And um, I had a quiche around my mum and dad, I had an omelette, and I had an ice cream, an Oreo lolly. And then the ice cream man came round later on and, I, and mum sent me out to get an ice cream. Um, when I ate the ice cream, unfortunately, I started to get pain in one of my teeth that I've got left. Yes, and it's one with amalgam filling in it still, and it shot through the roof, the pain, um, like an electric shock. And um, I've got a dentist appointment this afternoon. Um, but when I ate the ice cream, I nearly jumped off the roof because I got a pain over here. Um, I'm at my flat now, I mean I could have gone out this morning but I didn't feel too good to be honest um, because my teeth are hurting and I feel very fatigued and sleepy and I feel irritable, not cross and angry, just irritable and unhappy for some reason as well. Um, my son rang me last night about half past ten. Uh, nothing nasty, he just he's going up to Gloucestershire in a week's time and the pain started to get worse after I put the phone down, it started shooting from top to bottom, the pain down there, down there and um, triaminal neuralgia isn't supposed to like shift from one side to the other so this is pain is really confusing me um, and the other surprising thing that happened was Charlotte uh, knocked on the door. Charlotte being my sister Amanda's daughter and Charlotte brought Amanda around her daughter and I thought my god that's a different child. The last time I saw baby Amanda she was toddling about knocking things over and th this child was like grown up like oh my god and um she was saying to my mum my mum my mum is a bit eccentric and charlotte was charlotte's daughter was going silly journey silly journey silly journey and um only funny laughing at my mum um and normally i would write all this shit down in my diary but I don't do that anymore I don't write a diary because it's upsetting to read it and it never gets published and I never get anywhere so I just don't write it anymore um, Charlotte wasn't with her dad she was on her own with uh, Amanda they didn't stay long um, we had the internet on I watched the film Tammy and they filmed a bucket list about two men that died of cancer and they wrote a list out before they died of what things they wanted to do 
um, and in it the guy has his head shaved off, hair shaved off and he's got stitches and a cut in his head and ultimately if you've got trimenal neuralgia like I have or the doctors in the hospital have said I have then the only way to completely relieve the pain if tablets don't work is an operation on the skull well they drill into your to your skull um, to deaden the nerve um, like I said I live with this pain every day and um, there we are uh, Charlotte came round to Nanny and Grandad dressed in a really skimpy pair of shorts a top with low cleavage and she just she completely ignored me talked to my mum and dad in fact she spoke to me once and said um, how are you and I said fine thanks and she seemed to just sit there and go <laughs> a lot of the time so that was it really um, I can't smile like that because I've got several of my teeth missing so she smiled with all her teeth <laughs> and she went she said goodbye to my mum she said goodbye to my dad but she didn't say goodbye to me and Charlotte is in her 20s and I'm nearly 50. There's a 30 year generation gap. Um, very nice to see Charlotte, very nice to see her daughter, but obviously I haven't seen my child for nearly 10 years. Anthony was adopted and um, oh and, and little Amanda put little thing, flashed her knickers at granddad. She did, she got a little butterfly dress and pulled it up and Grandad and I saw a flash of her pants. <laughs> That's little girls for you, isn't it? They do the most, little kids do the most unexpected things and it embarrasses you a bit. And then Charlotte left with um, her daughter and then I came home, Dad paid for the taxi, Mum gave me a can of vegetables, some bread, and um, I left and I'm back here and it's off to the dentist again.